welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be doing an updated what is in your freelance makeup kit I did one of these I think about a year ago and a lot has changed since then so I'm just gonna get right into it hopefully this video is not too long but I know y'all are about to be staying inside right now so I know you can probably spare an hour hopefully not an hour but anyways let's get started and I'm gonna show you guys everything that is in my Okay. I just wanted to show you guys an overall view of it. It's pretty much just a carry-on bag. This is a bag that I've had that I've never actually used and it fits everything perfectly. So it has a compartment in the front and then it has a little handle here and then it actually has a handle on the side which as you can see fits a water bottle perfectly because I do carry a water with me and a smoothie drink bookings. And then if I bring my other makeup kit I can actually slide it here and carry the entire thing as one. So, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is what is in the front this is actually where I keep most of my palette because I feel like that's the most secure area it doesn't really shift around as much oh just a little background this is how my kit looks like after a booking of five people so if I was only doing one person or two people it would not be this packed so one of the palettes that I have is the Alyssa Edwards I like this one because of the colors and then I also have one of my go-to palettes which is soft glam by Anastasia and then I have my studio finish palette and these are pretty much cream concealers and I love to use this palette for cleaning eyebrows for spot concealing and even for priming eyes so it's a really great palette I actually made this palette myself and in the back I have the shades as well and then I carry this morphe 35 M palette don't mind this gash I was on a deep potting craze the other day because of quarantine and it just didn't work out the way that I thought it would and it was too late to put it back in so I just kind of snapped it out of its case so that's okay because it's not really even important colors but I pretty much carry this palette with me when I need a pop of color and then this is a Morphe MT large magnetic palette and this one has two extra studio fix powder foundation powders that I have they're extra because they actually don't fit in the other palette that I have I'll show you guys in a second but it's a really big palette and these two wouldn't fit and I needed these two colors so that's why I brought this along and then this this one is also a MAC blush which also unfortunately doesn't fit my blush book this is another morphe palette and this one is what I use for blushes so all of these are from MAC this is pretty much what I reach for the most I would say I actually super glued it down I just put like one dab just so it doesn't make it too difficult to remove it if I need to the reason why I glued it is because the magnet on these morphe palettes they're pretty cheap they're not strong at all and they tend to shift around a lot so that is pretty much what's in this compartment here this is what it looks like when you open it up so I'm just gonna go ahead and start on this side first and what I put on this side are more so tools so over here I just have this brush holder I like to carry this with me because I like to set it on my station I leave my beauty blenders in here this is dirty don't mind that I had a couple bookings today and then on this side I'll put dirty brushes so I know not to put it back in my brush belt and then I also carry an extra brush cleaner just in case I need to spot clean something a paper towel roll and then on this side I carry different types of wipes so I have here some MAC makeup wipes and I also carry these sanitizing wipes if I need to remove any makeup or if I need to clean the table or something like that and then the last thing in this pouch is my ooh, don't want to blind you guys but this is just a MAC mirror so on this side I would say these are more of my personal things I guess because I don't carry an extra purse I pretty much have these little care packages that I give to my clients my brides it kind of just looks like this and it has an empty container which I give them a swatch of their lipstick for touch up and then there's my business card in there and some other extra little things I have a gum you always have to have gum I carry a little snack with me just because you never really know when you get hungry or you need like a sugar pick-me-up I have a mask in here as well I've actually always carried masks with me even before this virus started going around because sometimes like if I have a little cough or if a client has a cough then I'll just wear the mask just to be safe it really doesn't hurt anybody at all and then I have my airpods in here as well I don't usually use that very often it's more so when I'm doing like a bridal party most of them just want to talk with themselves and then I also carry extra business cards in here I love this one my hubby bought this for me it says Rochelle Beauty it's like gold and then there's my business card it's so cute and then just a lip balm a random lip balm 
Now let's get into the honking thing over here. The first thing that you're gonna see in here are my two ginormous colored rain palettes. This one has all of my face powders. All the circle ones here that you see are all MAC Studio Fix powder foundations. I really like that because it adds a nice extra coverage as well. These ones here are just some more extra blushes that didn't fit in that tiny blush book. And then this is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And then these rectangular ones over here are the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. And then for the next one, this is mainly where most of my eyeshadows are. I just placed a huge order online. This is many different companies, not just one company that I use. I'm trying to build basically this palette to have every color that I need realistically it's not gonna have everything that i need but at least if i were to have most of my colors here and then just carry like one extra palette i think you guys can kind of tell the kind of organization that i prefer when it comes to my makeup kit i don't like to condense things too much into little tiny containers i like to have things more in like an industrial style where it's like this big thing of one thing and then this big thing of another because that just allows me to pack way less than i need to that's why i prefer using the luggage over those bags that look like this like this one is not gonna fit anything that i need so that's why i don't have that kind of makeup kit bag i have this little divider here that actually came from my previous makeup bag which is the large Make a bag by MAC. This one fit everything perfectly, so I figure there's no point in taking it out. I could just pop it into my luggage and I'm good to go. On this side, it's just a big compartment and I pretty much carry my lip palettes in there. So I have the Anastasia Volume 1 in here. I don't reach for this very often, but if I'm doing like a fun shoot or like an editorial, then I know that I'll have every color that I need. It's a MAC double-sided magnetic palette and I made this one myself. And every lipstick in here is actually by MAC as well. I just really like MAC lipsticks because though some of them are super drying they do last really long on the lips i do not carry any loose lipstick bullets because i have everything that i need and then i have this mac c plus coral grass softening lotion spray i carry this with me because it's a lotion that you can literally just spray on and i use this if i'm gonna be doing body makeup usually for brides or for bridesmaids that have like an open back or something or like a deep v and then the other side of it there's this just open pouch. I just keep my lip pencils. This one is more so my nude lip liners and these ones are my red and colorful lip liners. So as you can see, I like me some MAC because I find that these ones are super pigmented and though again, they're not as hydrating and smooth as a lot of lip liners, I'm not gonna lie, they do tend to last the longest. There's these two zipper compartments here. This side, I just have a bunch of clear gloss, liquid lipsticks, and I also have some glosses i try not to carry that much lip glosses though because if you really need to make a lip gloss color all you really need is a clear lip gloss and just pop it on top and you can make anything glossy so with that being said i personally don't feel like there's a point in carrying too much lip glosses if anything i stock up on liquid lipsticks and then on this side here this is where i carry all of my loose pigments and loose glitters so i have quite a few Few. And I always carry these for every booking, even if clients book a neutral look with me because you just never know. Sometimes they change their mind. Sometimes when they see glitter, they're like, oh my gosh, I need some pop of glitter on my eyes somewhere. So I just always carry it. This is what I have and I made these stacks myself. So this one is all MAC Halo glitter. They're super chunky. And then these two are MAC loose pigments. I have some vanilla, I have melon, rose, a little bit of everything. These last two are loose glitter. And I love these two. These are the most popular ones in my kit. I have like a little bit of a rainbow thing going on here and then more neutrals. So black glitter, rose gold, everything in between. So I love this. My clients love this. And it's a nice way of being able to carry a lot of things in a very discreet way, I would say. <laughs> All right. So next thing is I just have some extra clean sponges in here in a clear Ziploc bag. And then I have my brush belt. Some essential tools that I feel like everyone should have in their brush belt if you don't already have it are these clips these clips help to just sort of get rid of any bangs or any hair out of their faces i have to have my spatula here scissors for lashes tweezers as well for lashes and i just have my business card here as well and i like this brush belt because it actually saves a lot of space in terms of like your setup table because i know some people like to have their brushes on the table but like seven out of ten times i'm forced to work in like a really dinky small table so being able to just have this wrapped around my belly helps 
a lot. So this bag here, it's from Urban Decay. And I just pretty much carry all of my lashes. I carry every brand and any brand. I have MAC, Velour, Kiss Lashes, Ardell Lashes, Dodo Lashes. I have Mink. I have Beauty Supply Store Lashes. Lashes is one thing that the client has to see or try on in person. Or lashes are one thing that you will sort of have to determine at the very end of your look. Because sometimes people think that they want a dramatic look. But then like their eyeshadow is not that dramatic so i just like to have options and then this little clear pouch actually came from the mac large makeup bag that i used to use and in here i just carry some loose things that i unfortunately cannot depot or you probably could but i choose not to because i already know it's not going to work out very well so i have mac whisper of guilt highlighter i love this one i have soft and gentle such a staple for a lot of skin tones especially for brides i have gold deposit again essential for people with medium to dark skin i have a random give me sun mineralized skin finish powder i like this for bronzing my clients and i also have this urban decay waterproof setting powder this is what i like to use to sort of dust all over the groom or sometimes the groomsmen because it actually controls your oil Oils and your sweat so it'll keep the person super matte I have a lot of these but I only like to bring this color but this is the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette in medium deep and the only reason why I carry this is because of that orange shade down there which I use a lot to color correct any hyperpigmentation and then the last thing in this bag is this Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition powder foundation in dark neutral so this is a powder foundation but I actually really like this as a bronzer and I use it on myself as well not now because i am a lot lighter but in the summertime this is such a nice bronzer because it's not too orange but it's also not too gray and it's a very finely milled powder so it doesn't make your skin look patchy it just makes your skin look really smooth and then the next pouch that I have here are all of my concealers. And as you can see, I pretty much use MAC concealers, specifically the MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Smooth Wear Concealer. Because this one is like, it's creamy, but it's also matte and it's like medium to full coverage. I have every color over here. And I also have some Pro Long Wear Concealer because you just can't go wrong. This is a really good concealer as well for more like texture or like age mature skin. So I have a little bit of a variety as well so my concealers do change it depends on who i'm doing if i'm doing the mother of the bride or mother of the groom i'll carry more of like a lightweight water-based concealer just so it doesn't crease and dry up under their eyes and then in this clear pouch i just have some extra foundations i have mac studio sculpt which i love i use this for people with like normal to dry skin uh, if you're oily skin it's just gonna slip and slide off of your skin i also have match master and then i have the the MAC face and body foundation which is great for mixing with other foundations and then I have more foundations over here that is the MAC Pro Longwear waterproof foundation this is really good for brides just because brides tend to be a little bit more liquidy from tears from sweat from nerves so that's what I like to use that for oh I have a loose powder over here this is the MAC hyper real glow highlighter and it comes in these different colors over here and I actually really Really, really love this highlighter because it gives the skin a buttery wet highlight as opposed to like that glittery dry powder chalky type of look and then for my actual foundations as well I have these two containers here that I got from Michaels this one has Mac studio fix foundation which is typically my go-to but depending on their skin type and their skin texture then I will have to sort of mix it up a little bit and then I also have a lightweight foundation which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And I have some skin prep here. I have like fast response here and other stuff. So I just always carry both because you never know a person's skin type and how the foundation is gonna sit on their skin. And then I have this container that has all of my disposables. I love this because it's so thin and it fits pretty much all of my disposables very nicely. Aside from that, I also have another toolkit. This is just a pencil case that I got from Michaels. And here I carry more of my liquids. So I have my clear palettes. I have a, another little thing of brush cleaner here because I don't 
don't always carry the big one. I have hand cream here. This is pretty much for when I'm on set. The client is doing like a close up on their hands or something and you don't want their hands to look ashy. I also have Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover. This is actually oil free, but it feels like it's oil. So it literally will strip your skin of any makeup. And I love this for when I mess up on eyeliner. Especially black chalk, you guys know how hard it is to remove that. So a little swab of this and it'll literally come off. I have a spray of water in here because you don't always have access to a sink to be wetting your beauty blenders. I have my thing of hand sanitizer here. And I actually also have another spray of 70% alcohol, but that's currently in my purse right now because virus. I've been using it to like spray handles and shopping carts. <laughs> So that's why it's not in here. And then I just have some extra Kleenex in here. Shuimura, um, what is this called? Lash curler. If you guys didn't know, this was like the ish way back in the day. And then I have this little finger palette, which is actually so handy. I like to keep it in my palette just in case the back of my hand is full or if I actually don't want to get the back of my hand dirty. And then I have a little grindhouse uh, sharpener here by Urban Decay. And then I have a pouch here that just has extra clips to pull back the hair or something. So that is what is in my other toolkit. Next thing, I have this stack of loose powders, and this is more so for medium to dark skin, and I have a little bit of everything. I have Huda Beauty Blondie, Huda Beauty Kanafa, MAC Medium Dark, Laura Mercier Medium Deep, and I have Fenty Beauty Coffee, and I got this stack from my local Michaels. I have two pouches left in here. So again, this one also came from my MAC makeup bag that I used to use before this one, and this one has my skin prep and primers. I have that other half of the loose powder stack so this one has urban decay velvetizer rcma and translucent which i feel like is a staple it's a must have because it's translucent it can pretty much work with any skin tone i have laura mercier translucent and i have mac patrick star as well so i have another stack that i also made it has all of my moisturizers so i have mac oil control clinique gel mac studio cream and hot springs so i have some moisturizers for every type of skin skin type and then i have a bunch of random things in here let me go through this really quickly because there's a lot okay i have mac prep and prime skin base and again another primer i have a setting spray here this is urban decay d slick i like this because it actually makes the makeup last all day long and i like to carry travel size by the way that way it's not so heavy i have a micellar water keels oil control toner i like to tone my client's skin before i apply foundation because having a really clean and clear skin helps a lot in achieving a nice smooth full coverage bomb ass um complexion so i take my skincare very very seriously i have a little thing of mac fix plus here i have so many of these because you actually can't refill this which is so annoying because i have the bigger ones too and i don't want to carry the big ones because these ones can get really heavy this little thing just melts all that powder and foundation together making the complexion look like their skin i have a little thing of urban decay quick fix in here this one has coconut water so it's more so for hydrating the client's skin i have mac face protect lotion spf this is pretty much for when it's like an outdoor wedding or summertime i like to put spf on my client's skin to protect their skin from the sun i have mac lightful c plus coral grass vibrancy eye cream to brighten smoothen and depuff the eyes i have more primer this is mac skin refined zone i guess you just gotta have everything and then i have a stack here of the rest of my primers i have smashbox photo finish primer Too faced hangover rx urban decay complexion and i have strobe cream on the bottom there so i also made this little stack myself i have another primer this one is by stila it's the one step skin tone correcting and brightening serum as a, as you can see it has like different colors in it so that's why i didn't want to pump it because then it'll mix the color itself and i feel like it might not work the same and that primer is pretty much good for people with hyperpigmentation or redness or anything any discoloration on their skin pretty much i have lip love by urban decay here it has shea butter coconut oil and my clients love this i always get a lot of questions as to what i put on clients lips so this one does a really nice job at moisturizing and soft 
softening up the client's lips. I also have this MAC Prep and Prime lip primer. I only really use this if they're wearing like a red lip just to make sure that it doesn't bleed out throughout their lips. I have this Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover Lip Oil Stick and this is for when I'm actually on set. So if I need to go from like a red lip to a nude lip, this one will literally erase that too. I have this MAC Lip Scrumptious and I have it in Sweet Vanilla because I figure Vanilla is like a generic flavor and I feel like no one will mind it, you know, but you always got to have lip scrub because you never know how a client's lips be acting, okay? And I have Urban Decay Drop Shot Mix in Facial Oil. It's great to have a facial oil in your kit because you can use it for their skin. You can use it to mix with foundations. You can use it to make a lipstick more hydrating. Pretty much anything that you want. So I just always have to have that in here. And then the last thing that I have in here is this little thing of face scrub by Urban Decay and it's actually really gentle on the skin and what I use that for is pretty much clients that have texture around their nose or around their mouth if I see that I know the foundation is not gonna sit very well so what I do is I take a little bit of this sponge wedge I'll put some in the back of my hand spray a little bit of water on it to make like a little scrub and I'll just gently scrub around their nose to remove any of the dead skin that way it's nice and soft for makeup application and then the last thing in this kit is my eye bag <laughs> anything eye related is in this bag so let's just go right into it it's a lot of stuff in here i have a lot of pencils that are wrapped up in different categories so this stack here are all of my mac brow styler eye pencil not eye pencil sorry brow pencil i prefer to use brow pencils a lot because it just gives the eyebrow like a really clean finish and you can really fill in whichever way you want i do have like brow powder here as well for people that want softer brows but for the most part my clients prefer the pencil as well or the pencil look anyway and then this one has all of my black or brown or neutral eye pencils so I have a little bit of everything in here this one has all of my colorful pencils I always carry this as well because you never know when a client wants that pop of color on their waterline and then I have this little thing of eyeshadow primers. I have Urban Decay Primer Potion in Caffeine, in Eden, in Original. I also have a NYX Glitter Primer in here, which sucks by the way. I don't like to use it for glue. I like to use lash glue instead and then i have a Too faced shadow insurance in here as well so i have a little bit of everything because again it depends on the client and their skin type everything else here is loose so i'm just gonna go through it hopefully really quickly but i also carry these urban decay okay these i feel like it's definitely a must-have i don't have every single shade but i really want to buy every single shade because every single client that i've ever done they just love this shit okay especially when they see it and they're like "Ooh, like give me some of that so so this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Glitter Liner. And my most popular ones are obviously the silver and the gold. And it gives a nice pop of glitter. I either put it here or the line up there or in the middle of the eyeshadow. And clients love it. It's a nice pop of color, so why not? I have an Urban Decay Brow Box. So this one has the brow powder and the wax in there. And then on the other side, it has like a little grooming kit, which is actually so cute. It has like a spoolie, a tweezer, and the brush to apply the powder. I have have the Benefit Cabrow. This one is actually really dark, so that's why I like to carry that for people with full bushy brows if I need to fill in like a spot or so. I have another eyeshadow primer. This is the MAC 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. And then I carry two colors of gel liners, MAC Black Track, which is like my staple. And I also carry this one by NYX. It's just in the white color. And I actually don't like that because it dried up super quickly. So I have to use my oil to mix it up, but I would prefer another brand to be honest because it's kind of like chalky or the texture it is just not creamy i don't like it at all as if i didn't have enough eyeshadow primers i have three more here by mac i have their paint pots in indian wood which is so nice for any gold look and then i have painterly which is a staple and soft ochre and then i have another brow gel in here this is by mac it's deep dark brunette this one is also super dark and pigmented so that's why i like to carry this color i have two glues in here I have the black one by Duo, which is my favorite. This one I feel like is so strong. It has withstand tears and sleeping and everything. So I like to use this one a lot. I also have the clear white one. I feel like this one's sort of weak, so I don't really reach for that. But I also have more liquid eyeshadow. This one is like another fan fave of mine. This is the MAC Flash and Dash. And I like to
decided to pop this on top of eyeshadows to give it that dimension and it just kind of looks like that but this one is kind of creasy sometimes and i also have a liquid last liner by mac i don't know what the shade is because it's gone but it's pretty much like a bronzy gold color i have it in silver as well if they want that bold eyeliner i have urban decay perversion waterproof fine pen i like this a lot because it helped to apply the eyeliner super clean and crisp and it's waterproof a clear brow gel here by urban decay i don't believe in carrying like 10 different shades of brow gel okay i feel like that's a waste just like lip glosses as long as you have a clear one you're good to go okay and then for mascara i have better than sex mascara here and the nars climax and then i have a random peach water pencil liner thing and then i have two more felt eyeliner this one is by mac it's called brush brown for clients that want a brown eyeliner and then i have this stila waterproof liquid eyeliner as well i use a lot of waterproof liquid eyeliner because i feel like if you're not using that you're just wasting your time and your clients time okay so i just always have to have a oh a fresh one look how sharp that is i never actually even use this one as yet because i still have my urban decay so yeah but i always like to have backup because eyeliner is the one thing that you cannot like run out of in the middle of your booking could you imagine but if that's not enough i also have this mac liquid last liner now this one is a brush tip i rarely use this because this is so thick and heavy and it's literally the most water resistant waterproof eyeliner i have ever 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 tried if i'm doing like a really bold look on someone or if someone has teary eyes like where they flicker a lot this is what i like to use on them because it once it sets it doesn't budge it doesn't move it's literally on you forever so that is pretty much what is in my freelance makeup kit i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions for me feel free to leave a comment down below and until next time i'll see you guys again soon bye